Now I'm going to look at this numerical example. I have a zero sum game and I'm going to find the max mean value and the min max value of this game and show that they're equal. I'm going to do this for player one. Uh, the game is not symmetric. The max mean and the min max value for player two will be different, uh, probably. Uh, but I am going to leave that as an exercise for you. So what is the max mean value for player one? So he's maximizing uh, by choosing his strategy, mixed strategy, and then minimizing, well, not then, I'm sorry, uh, and minimizing by choosing the second player's strategy in, in pure strategies, uh, while well, he's, he's doing this to max min for his uh, own payoff. Well, here, uh, what is that supposed to mean? Well, or how do we solve this problem? Well, kind of simple. What is the mixed strategy in this very simple game for player one? Well, he's going to play P with prob. Uh, I'm sorry, he's going to play A with probability P and B with probability one minus P. All right, so any sigma one is kind of choosing P. Uh, P can be uh, anything between zero and one. And S2, well, it has two values, A and B, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate U1 uh, sigma one uh, S2 equals A first and then I'm going to calculate sigma 1 uh, don't forget sigma 1 is this p basically uh, s2 equals b all right um, so here what is and then I'm going to graph them and see how I can solve this problem uh, well so here given that my opponent the player 2 is playing a what is the expected payoff of player 1 if he plays uh, this mixed strategy, uh, the P. Well, he's going to get 2 times P plus 0 times 1 minus P. So therefore, his expected payoff is going to be 2P. And given that his opponent is playing B, his expected payoff is going to be minus 3P plus 1 times 1 minus P. So 1 minus P. So it's basically uh, 1 minus 4P. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to graph this. How? Well, you'll see. So here, this is the p value. It can be zero or it can be one at most. So here, when s2 is equal to uh, a, and here s2 is equal to uh, b. Well, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, this is the payoff, all right? Uh, the payoff can be at most uh, three, remember? So this is three, let's say. This is uh, two, one, zero, uh, and then minus one, minus two, and then minus three, and then same here, three, uh, two, one, uh, minus one, uh, minus two, and minus three. Okay, so now I'm going to draw this as a function of P, right? What if player 2 plays A? What is the expected payoff of player 1? It's 2P. So if P is 0, expected payoff is 0. If P is 1, it's a linear function, right? If P is 1, then the expected payoff is 2. So therefore, this is what uh, the utility U1, uh, sigma 1, uh, S2 equals A looks like, okay? Um, well, what about this one, one minus four P? So when P is zero, this utility is one. So starting point is here. It's again, a linear function and decreasing with P. When P is equal to uh, one, this is gonna be th minus three. So therefore, this is what U1 sigma one S2 equals B graph will look like. Okay, so. They're intersecting here, fine. Uh, well, what I'm doing is now is the following. Look, my opponent is choosing his strategy to minimize, so fixing sigma one, right? This is what it is. So fixing P, I mean. So once I fix P, any P value, uh, what is the uh, minimizing S2? Well, if P, as you see, is higher than this threshold. So if P is in this range, 
Uh, the player two can minimize my payoff by choosing B, right? Because that those payoffs are clearly lower than those payoffs. So by playing A, he gives me higher payoffs. So he can minimize my payoff by playing B. And whenever P value is lower than this uh, point, well then, as you see, this time, this part of the, uh, 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 so, I mean, meaning uh, playing A is going to minimize my expected payoff because B is gonna give me high, higher expected payoffs. So what happens is basically, so this, optimization problem is going to give me this weird function. Uh, it's increasing with P. At some point, it breaks down all the way, goes to minus three. All right, so this is now my new function and I would like to maximize it. Well, if you look at this, what is the maximum value? It's simple, right? This point. So this point of, inter well, in economics, points of intersections is always important, right? So this point of intersection is very important then. How do I find it? Well, simple. You just set these two guys equal, right? So 2p equals 1 minus 4p. So 6p equals 1. Um, so p is equal to 1 over 6. So if p is equal to 1 over 6, what is my utility level? You plug it back here or here makes no difference. So therefore, the max mean value is two times P. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry, the max mean strategy is that player one is gonna play A with probability one over six and B, so the max min strategy is that he's going to play A with one six probability and with the remaining probability, five over six, he's going to play B. Well, what is the uh, max mean value? Again, once you plug this here or here, it doesn't matter. So it's going to be two over six, so one over three. So this is the max mean value for player one. Now let's find the uh, mean max value for player uh, one. How can we do that? Well, simple. This time, this is the thing we would like to find. Min, sigma two in sigma two, max, uh, S1 in S1, U1, S1, sigma two. Okay, so I'm gonna need you know, a, a different graph, uh, I'll do it. But first, what is sigma two? Well, the sigma two is, a probability distribution over player two's pure strategy. So Q one minus Q. All right, so it's sigma Q, I'm sorry, sigma two is nothing but Q itself. All right, so now what I'm going to find, my utility fixing uh, sigma two, if I play A, all right, um, yes, uh, sigma two, and then my utility, once I play B, remember, I can look only on my pure strategies. I don't really have to look at my utility uh, on their mixed strategies. That's why I use this simpler version uh, of the min max and uh, max min, uh, sigma two. So what are my payoffs? Well, given that my opponent is playing Q and one minus Q or sigma two, my payoff if I play A is two times Q, plus uh, minus three times one minus Q. So it's nothing but uh, two Q plus three Q, five Q minus three. And here, my when I play B, I'm gonna get zero with Q probability and one with one minus Q probability. So it's just one minus Q. So therefore, I am going to retain everything else except those graphs. Uh, linear functions. So once again, this is from zero to one, but this is Q value. So once I fix sigma two, the Q, all right, 
Uh, what is the expected uh, utility if I play A? Well, it's 5Q minus 3. So if Q0, it's going to be minus 3. If Q1, it's going to be 2. It's a linear function and it's going to go this way. Oops, sorry. It's uh, yeah, supposed to be a straight line. Um, so my bad. So this is U1 A uh, sigma 2. Well, what about this? If I play B, if I play B, it's 1 minus Q. When Q0, it's 1. Q1, it's 0. So it's going to be this. Okay, once again, they're going to intersect, fine. But what does that mean? So now let's come back to this. So fixing player two strategy, meaning Q, once we fix it, how can I maximize the, uh, this payoff? Is it A, playing A or B? Well, obviously, once I fix Q, if I play uh, B, this is my payoff. If I play A, this is my payoff. So the maximizing is simple. This is how I maximize. So for all the Q values up until this point, I am going to play B. And beyond this Q value, I'm going to play A. So therefore, this max optimization solution of this optimization problem is going to give me this function. All right. Uh, well, it's a continuous function, obviously, but it's not linear. So the thing is, which Q value is going to minimize it? Well, this value, this Q value, Q star, let's call it, is going to minimize it. How can I find it? Once again, set these two guys equal. So 5Q minus 3 equals 1 minus Q. 6Q equals uh, 4. Q equals 2 over 3. So this is the min-max strategy uh, of player one. But what is the min-max value? So just plug this back to here or here. It's going to be the same thing. So if I plug it here, it's going to be 1 minus 2 over 3. So it's 1 over 3. Same as the max mean value. Question is, is this a coincidence? I mean, can I say that for all zero-sum games, the max min and the min max value are equal? Or is this just a, a, a rare example? No. It is true that these two values must be the same. And this is what John von Neumann has proved in 1928. So this is what we're going to prove next.